Then he goes combust from 11th Feb to 18th of March. What does this mean? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Let's find out. See, for certain people who are going through their dhaya and sare sati, this time frame is going to come as a respite for you. And dhaya and sare sati, you're supposed to see only through your moon sign and chandra rashi, okay? So if you are a cancer or a Scorpio moon sign, then you're going through your dhaya. And if you are a moon sign, which is Capricorn, a Pisces or Aquarius, then you're going through your sare sati. So these people will see a respite during this time and they will feel the challenges coming down, which is a good thing. But if you are being influenced by Shani in a positive manner, if Shani is really helping you progress, then you will start to see crazy delays and challenges in your work during this period. So you must learn to be patient. Now, who are those people? This you must see as per your lagna or ascendant. So people who are born to Taurus lagna or ascendant, people who are born to Aquarius lagna or ascendant, people who are even born to Aries lagna or ascendant, uh, people who are born to Capricorn lagna or ascendant, these are people who will see delays and challenges. Even those who are in the business of Shani may see a lot of delays and challenges. And these are people who are actually connected to real estate. These are people who are connected to property, agriculture, mining, coal, um, machinery, big factories, even law. Professions such as law are also going to be affected. So if you are feeling the challenges or the delays, uh, know that it is because of Shani combustion and what you're supposed to do is pray to Lord Shiva and also learn to be patient. Do not give up. Do not feel um, anger within you. Just continue with resilience and this time will soon pass. Mm -hmm.